gentlemen, welcome to another WMG video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Fate Core and exclusive weapon of Otard. So by tomorrow, I think it's around 8 hours from now, um, her banner will drop for an increased chance to get her. But before we start, please like and subscribe and away we go. So if you can see here, it's a core reverse fate core chance increase for the dominator of battle Otard. My opinion on Otard, she is a good character, even without her fate core. So if you have tried her out, um, she has high damage, uh, both for single single enemy and for um, AOE damage. But uh, we'll go through her fate core right now. So on August 23 to August 30, her banner will be available. So she's called Dominator of Battle. And if you can see um, from her original skills, there were two additions in terms of her passive. So number one is her Harbinger of Awakening. It afflicts Mark of Revenge to an enemy that, that killed an enemy, uh, sorry, that killed an ally. The buff is removed when the target with Mark of Revenge is killed or damaged by Harbinger of Awakening and activates the Awakening status effects of, of all allies with the Awakening skill. Okay, the next one is actually very, very good. It's Awakening Dominator of Battle, so buff increases critical hit by 360 so decreases block by 180 and increases attack speed by 25 and gains damage immunity for four turns when health is at or below 30 percent so to ensure this one activates you can you can actually pair her with battery so that battery saves her just in case her health goes to zero for an initial attack uh with your with with other with, with your enemies and the next is her brutal axe so more or less the same the same damage um but before i go before i move on um her her regular her regular character has a l a, a bit lower damage but this one it's around at 525 i think her regular character has 420 percentage of damage to one enemy but this one they have improved her her skill her brutal axe skill so it, in, in in addition it deals 525 percent extra damage to targets afflicted with status effect with this when the skill hits so it removes all status effects from the target so this doubles her attack and removes status effects so it removes positive effects or buffs from your enemies. So this is a very, very good um, improvement to her kit. And the same as well with her destruction bow. Um, it's all, it, it also has the same special. So um, this changes, this changed a lot for her kit. Because when 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 I was deciding to to get her FC before, because I tried to pull her from the string of creation, I think it was it was uh, Rachel's stream string of creation. She was the only one left. But the only the only reason why I didn't pull for her before was because her kit was too simple. It didn't have any other effects. But this changes everything. If you can see, um, I am having actually thoughts of pulling her probably after after I see the drop of Valentina. Valentina will be dropping on I think for Philippine time it's going to be a Thursday. For UTC I think it's going to be a Wednesday. So um, Otar will be dropping on a Monday for us and uh, Valentina will be dropping on a Thursday. So I'll have to see Valentina's kit before I try to summon for her. I hope Valentina's kit is also good, but if it's not that good, I think I will try to summon for her. She is a very good character 
in terms of her improvements and as I've said before um, try to recruit heroes or characters if you need them if you really need them for my account I need fire fire heroes more fire heroes so that I could I could um, I could um, uh, level up some of some of the what do you call this some of the the prizes that, that that I get for the challenges so I need far more heroes uh, as I, I, I need more uh, powerful fire heroes for for the fire day that we have each week so if, if you see here her chance is 0.7% to get so you will have a pity pull after 19 core mileages and she is a black black fate core so again um if if you don't want to get for valentina i would suggest you get her but wait until valentina's banner drops um before before you get her so you will have enough time um let's move on onto her onto her animations i have her at fate core here we go there she is So for her skills, um, based on what I've seen with with her with her previous um, with, with her original build, the animations are, are are the same. This is her regular attack, so it's pretty much very slow and uh, not much of an animation. So for her A1, yes, it's pretty much the same. And uh, the animes I I think needs needs a lot more when 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 you know when you expect to get a fate core from from any hero I think the animation should should be should be improved or or probably just just change it a little bit and on her a2 it's still the same I think the axe is probably heavy that is why she can't move that much but regardless of the axe i think she she does a very good job in dealing damage and um if take a take a good look at this one and compare it with her regular form her regular form is let me search for her for a while here she is okay so if you compare the FC the F, the, the fate core with her with her OG form it's a bit different uh, the FC form is about it is a, a little bit edgier and this one is a little bit more in nature so if you like um, how she's built and how she looks and if she will help your your what do you call this your team or your progression you can really summon for her for her fc uh, or your or her fate core she will give you a lot of um help in terms of your progression your challenges your chapters and um if you're not considering getting her for for the banner you can also get her here in string of creation this is actually my free to play account that is why i still have the 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 rachel banner so she is here so you can always recruit her here if you're not pulling for the banner so unfortunately for me for my other account for my main account i already closed this string so right now i'm really regretting what i did 
so I hope to you know hope to I'm crossing my fingers that I could get both both Otard and Valentina um, I will be needing a lot of says for that one so guys this is the video for summoning Otard and the review of her skills what she brings and how she is built right now she is definitely a must pull if you have the zest if you need her and um, if you like her aesthetics be my guest pull for her and that's all that that is what we have for today guys always take care and see you in the next video